what's up guys? So today I wanna go into something that like, I hear a lot of, to be honest, like a lot of people who say they really wanna make cocktails at home. Oof, that was my dog, he's a tired boy. Um, so like a lot of people say that they wanna get into making cocktails at home and stuff, but they just, they don't have all the spirits that they think that they need, right? Cause they feel, everyone always assumes that if you wanna make a really pretty cocktail or you wanna make a bunch of different cocktails that you need a huge home bar and it's totally false. If you do your research, you'll find that you literally only, you only need one bottle for, and you can get away with quite a few different cocktails by using one bottle, okay? Whether that be uh, a specific bottle of whiskey, like you can go bourbon or you can go rye or you can go single malt or whatever, right? You can go wheat um, or you can go with a bottle of gin. Now, obviously you're gonna get different notes and different flavors out of different types of um, these bottles. So like one rye is gonna be different from another rye and that's obvious. Um, but when you're just starting out, you don't need anything crazy, right? Just get, just get something that you like or something that you can afford, either one, if it's both, awesome. Um, and start playing around with it, right? So today, I'm gonna make a few cocktails using a single bottle of gin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a south side, I'm going to make a gin fizz and a clover club, all right? Yeah, let's just get into it, right? Let's, let's start mixing, yeah? So the gin that I'm gonna be using today is this guy. This gin from Okanagan Spirits. They're out in Vernon. And they've also got uh, another uh, location in Kelowna, in downtown. I use this gin quite a bit. It's like kind of one of my go-tos that I would use. Very, very easy to mix with. It's not incredibly juniper forward. Um, I get quite a bit of lemon out of it, to be honest. It's very citrusy. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna use this in all three of our cocktails today. Um, let's get into mixing. All right, let's do it. All right, so the first one we got here, south side, two ounces of gin, one ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, and about five or six mint leaves. Give them a clap, chuck it in there. Uh, give it a shake, garnish with a mint leaf on top. Just straight up all around delicious. Like it's just so refreshing. Honestly, like this was probably one of my, I had this, the first time I ever had this was super late at night and I had never heard of it before in my life. A friend ordered it for me. I got it and I was like, what? It's delicious. Um, this is cool too. It's a fun one you can riff on because you can make it flavored if you want it. You can chuck some raspberries in there, a couple, whatever fruit you want. Um, I, rest, some recipes go by lemon instead of lime. I prefer lime, so that's why I went with lime. Um, you can even make this long, like you can make it a fizz. You can add soda to it. Or if you really want to get drunk, you really want to have a good time, you can add some like Prosecco or sparkling wine to it. Uh, and really lengthen it out, but also keep that ABV high. Um, in general though, very, very simple cocktail. Delicious, only using gin as a spirit. All right, next one, we're gonna get into the Gin Fizz long drink. All right, let's do it. All right, so drink number two was the Gin Fizz. Again, very, very simple. Two ounces of gin, uh, one ounce of lemon, half an ounce of simple syrup, shake that stuff up, top it up with soda, get yourself a little Gin Fizz. Again, with one of these, you can easily make different kinds of these, right? Just add in some fruit, just like you could do with any other cocktail, add in different fruits, different liqueurs if you wanted to, all right? Uh, next one we got Clover Club coming out. Some of the specs you can find will have dry vermouth in it. Um, I've, I do usually make it that way. 
um, but it can totally be made this way too and it's very very good this way easy or this way as well um, this is kind of like the cocktail that I would make for people who are just getting into cocktails because it's hard to not like a clover club um, it's both like it's got that egg white in it so it has a really nice texture it's pretty because you get that nice line on there and people love a good egg white cocktail um, and it's it's a sour it's a well-balanced sour with a bit of fruit flavor in it, uh, fruit coming through, right? So it's just in general, it's just good. Okay. Um, between all three of these, though, the self side is my fave. I love a self side. It's really like the Clover Club, right? It's it's two ounces of gin, one ounce of lemon, half an ounce of simple syrup, some egg white in there. Um, you aren't, you're gonna wanna dry shake that, so dry shake means no ice at all. So give that a shake, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna emulsify the egg white. It's gonna give you that foam, all right, and that texture. After that, I put in a couple, I put in about four or five raspberries, uh, and then the ice, give that a good shake. So what the, the reason I do the raspberries after is because they don't really do anything when you're trying to emulsify, right? It's not like they're gonna get beat up enough to actually release any of their juices or anything. Um, I put them in with the ice because when the ice is going back and forth with the raspberry, they beat that raspberry up. It's kind of like muddling, but while you shake. It's just very simple to me. Um, with this one, you can definitely change it up. You can, instead of doing raspberries, um, put in strawberries, or you can put in some blueberries, or any other liqueur. Like, I've made it with some Haskap liqueur before, and that's delicious. Um, Saskatoon liqueur is all, I'm real in one of these. Um, you can really customize this uh, Clove Club. Really, you can really customize all of these. Um, to suit your your taste, the, the, the mood that you're in, right? But yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna do more of these just because they're just so simple, and I think a lot of people don't realize how much they can do with a single spirit. All right, so um, until next time, keep mixing, and cheers.